Hey everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to Nene's Nail Nook and another fun nail set that turned out absolutely gorgeous. Please stay tuned for today's video. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, I did use my nail cards to inspire today's set. So I chose the wild card for the shape and so I let the cards pick my shapes as well. So we ended up with coffin, lipstick, extra long, 90s drip, charm, bronze charm nails. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did modify the design in a little bit. I did not use the drips in today's set. I wasn't going for that type of 90s theme party, but you'll see what we get into. So in today's video, I did, I did decide to include my press on prep. So um, the reason why I decided to do this is just to kind of show you how I cut the lipstick shape and got my press-ons to be the shape that I desired. These are XXL tips and not just XL tips, but either way, I still enjoy doing them and I wanted to do a longer set because I'm just trying to get all of these nail tips used up. Um, I have used all of the number four. I ran out of those really quickly. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I'm pretty much finished with this box of nail tips. I don't know what to do with the extras. I usually just use them as practice nails after I run out of a certain size and I can't order the specific sizes by themselves. So let's go ahead and get into this prep. So I already put on my sticky tabs. Someone had asked me in a previous video how I get my nail tips to stick to my stand so well. I do use sticky tabs. Um, I just put them on, I take the, I peel the plastic off the other side, and then I kind of wrap them around the stand so that they're flush and they don't get stuck underneath the nail or peel off when I go to take the nails off the stand. And I can reuse them multiple times. So here's what they're looking like on the stand. And then I just go in with one of these purple buffers that I got off of Amazon. They are really nice, um, very high quality. I really like these. I can use these for multiple sets of press-ons before I have to replace them. So really durable and sturdy. I really love these buffers, but I go in, um, I do 10 extra nails and I went ahead and before I started buffing them, I was like, I might as well just go ahead and cut them so I can file them um, to that crisp shape that I want. So I'm going in with my Royalty Nail Supply Scissors and I started cutting the lipstick shape before I decided which nails that I wanted to be that shape <laughs> because we have to include a mixture of lipstick and coffin so they couldn't all be lipstick. So I was like, okay. And then I was like, I'm not really feeling that. I want the ring finger to be coffin and the thumb to be coffin. So I did have to go in and make some temporary adjustments. So then after I got all of that sorted out, so I feel like lipstick nails look better when the angle is going away from the thumbnail. It's just a personal preference. It doesn't have to go that way. I just think it looks better. So I needed to go the other way on the other hand and I was like, why did I cut them all the same way for the individual hands? <laughs> like, why did I do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I finally got that all sorted out and got them cut the right way. Um, so that way, again, the angle goes away from the thumb and the pointed end goes towards the thumb. So I just, again, I like it. And then um, I also cut all of the extras to go... Um, on the extra nails, I do them side by side, so I cut them all to go different angles. Um, I put the same sizes next to each other, so that's why one goes one way and one goes the other. I don't, I do, I don't do my extras like I would do the regular hands, like if I were actually going to apply them to my own hands. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> um, anyway, so, um... 
for the for the main nail design I do the nails as if I were going to put them on my own hands and for the extras I do the same sizes side by side there that's that's how I'm going to explain that so anyway now I am filing them so I did go ahead and I, I buffed all 20 of the nails I do 20 piece sets for all my press-ons just to make sure that there is a good range of sizes and everybody has something that fits them and so um, for you know sets that are not custom or if I don't know your sizes then chances are of you finding something that will fit you will be in just a standard set that if you want to purchase them so um, since I cut them with the scissors the edges like the pointy edges aren't really pointy anymore so that's another reason why I wanted to go ahead and get them filed up and also um, because I don't want the gel polish sticking in areas that I have to buff down or file later so just to ensure that the surface of the nail is smooth and those edges are really pointy and just to make sure that they're all like at the same angle and that they match and that they line up and are looking good I went ahead and filed them first. Usually I do that at the end, but this time I did it first. So then I'm going to take my uh, lint-free wipe with alcohol and just wipe everything off. I did go ahead and dust them off with a dust brush, um, but I just didn't include that in the video. And then I also wiped them down with the alcohol wipe. So that way everything is looking good. And I know I got all the dust off before I apply the base coat. So in the next scene, <laughs> um, I already applied my base coat on all 20 nails and I cured them for 60 seconds. So the power color for Pisces is pale green. For our Pisces friends, you can see that perfectly pale green brings about healing and renewal and connects you with your subconscious. So yes, this is the color I decided to go with. Um, it is one of my pastel colors from the one and only Born Pretty. So this is not a PR video, but I have so many of their polishes and this is literally like the most beautiful pale green. So I did go ahead and do two coats of this color. Today's set is just a conglomeration of a ton of brands and a lot of different things that I have and own and just putting them all together. So I did use a darker green for a little bit of contrast, which you'll see here in a minute, but everything is looking good underneath the nails. Everything is looking good on top of the nails before I cure them. I did go ahead and cure both, um, both layers for 60 seconds. And now I also did, um, now originally when I drew the cards, I also got ombre and I was like, I don't know if I really want to do an ombre, but then I was like, yeah, that actually sounds really good for this set. <laughs> um, because again, I wanted to keep it classy. So I was like, let's go ahead and add ombre. So I am going in and doing my acrylic ombre hack or trick or method. Excuse me. For me, this is a method because I have completely incorporated this in doing press-ons now for for a few months. Um, I've been trying it, and I heard of it actually a couple years ago from the, someone in the Model Ones Facebook group, and that was the first time I saw the video on it. And then I never tried it. And then I saw Votino doing it, and I was like, I want to do it. So. Pretty much the acrylic powder just gives something for that pigment and that gel polish to grab onto so that way you don't have to do a ton of layers. So what I ended up doing was just actually one layer of this acrylic and then I cure it for 60 seconds. And then um, once I'm done with the first layer and then the, you know everything's cured for the first 60 seconds, I actually did not... Um, the second layer, I got my sponge wet again with gel polish, applied it. And then for the third layer, I did not add any additional gel polish to the sponge. I just, you know, got a little darker around the top and then ombre it down. And with each layer, I just get a little bit lighter and lighter towards the edge. And if I feel like I have kind of a harsh line, then I just turn the sponge around on that little thin edge and dab dabble it out. Um, one thing I will say about this method is you want to make sure that you get this first layer or whatever layer you use the acrylic with exactly how you want it because wherever that acrylic sticks 
it's going to, that's where it's going to lay and that pigment is going to pick up on it. <laughs> um, so if you want more of that flawless blend, there is still, you do still have to kind of finesse um, where you put everything. So here is what everything is looking like together. In the next clip, I am going to show you what it looks like with top coat over it. Once you put that top coat on it, you know, when it doesn't have any top coat, it has, it looks really grainy, but the second you put that top coat over it, it looks absolutely beautiful and flawless. So again, I just did one layer of that acrylic, cured it for 60 seconds on top of that gel polish, and then I just went in with a couple more layers on my sponge and cured in between each one of those for 60 seconds as well. Once you hit, hit it with the top coat, it just looks absolutely beautiful and like a seamless ombre blend. So I really enjoy doing this method and once you get it down, it is so worth it. So now you can see where I'm talking about, I'm using the darker green. I'm using the brand RARJSM. I don't know how you pronounce that, so I just pronounce it um, phonetically <laughs> R-A-R-J-S-M so yeah um, I got this set of liners off of Amazon a long time ago and I never used them but they are very pretty and that they're all metallic and so I was like well now here's their chance to shine I used a darker green just for contrast on the nail I figured if I use a lot of pale greens or a lot of light greens then it's just not going to look right so um, the second color that I chose for the 90s design or theme, instead of black and white, I wanted to really give it that green, like, power, like that pale green serenity kind of, like, that it stands for, resonates with, so, as the power color for Pisces. So, um, I am going in with this color number 506 from Joss Love. I also got this set of polish polishes um, during women's hit, or not Women's History Month, <laughs> um, whatever month it is for women, um, they had a coupon code for this gel polish set, so I did go ahead and buy this as well off of Amazon. Thanks to my nail sister, Nat's Nail Journey, she sent me the code and then you got like an additional 5% off or something like that and it was already on sale so I, w I just went for it. But it ended up ha having this really, really pretty light green in there so I was like since this is also a pale green, again it's just a little more contrast against the darker pale green and I really like the way that these colors came together. So 90s theme is just really whimsical. A lot of people do it just as like a, um, I'm sorry, not an ombre, but like a French, like the theme on the French part of the nail. And that looks very cute. Don't get me wrong. I really love that style. And <laughs> um, that's actually where I got the inspiration or learned how like to do the contrast and the lines from. I did look at like tons of like, I just Googled 90s theme nails. And I was like, okay, um, so, but I was just kind of feeling the lines being everywhere and all over the place. And then on the solid color nails, I did not do the lines. Um, I just was kind of doing things in random order because I wasn't sure how or what I wanted to do to all of the nails yet. But I did have these beautiful charms that I got off TikTok. So I was initially trying to do 3D butterflies and I just didn't like the carving gel that I have. So I just threw that out the door. Um, I got rid of those nails, but I'm glad I did because these charms ended up looking absolutely gorgeous with this set. And so, yeah, I didn't want it to look like a St. Patty's Day set. Like I wasn't going for St. Patrick's Day. I just was going for like, if I were a Pisces and I got the color pale green or pale green was my power color, what would I want my nails to look like type of vibe. <laughs> so um, here I'm just using, um, I did go ahead and put some of that liner gel on the palette and I am going in with Phoenix Nail Co. Super White. Oh my gosh, I love this super white gel polish. I use it all the time now that I have it. Those mystery boxes were so worth a buy. So if you missed that video, please go check it out. Like <laughs> they packed those mystery boxes. So um, definitely worth it. And yeah, definitely got your bang for the buck on that. So um, again, just following a couple of pictures that I found with these designs on it um, or with the dot pattern 
and I love dots, right? So I'm here for all the dots. <laughs> um, I am going on the lighter side with the dark green and then on the darker side or along the green line that I put down the middle, I go in with the white. So here's what some of the other patterns on the nails turned out to look like with the dots. And then now I'm going in with the white just to show you what a few of those look like. So I went the opposite way. On this first nail, I went the same way with the big dots and worked my way down. And I should have started with the big dots like towards the bottom of the line just so that it didn't match the green lines. That's kind of like how I interpret 90s theme nails. Everything is just kind of opposite or going the other direction. So yeah, it just ended up looking really cute. And all together, when the, you see all of the nails together towards the end, they just look just <laughs> stunning like you guys every time I do a set I'm like okay how are you going to outdo yourself now like what are you going to do to make it look better or how can you amplify this set or how can you turn it up a notch like just you know what how can you do that on your next set and then I just always seem to literally amaze myself um, I just keep getting better and better with nail art and designs and, you know, yes, I use the nailed it cards for, you know, to give me a little bit of inspiration, but this is all just like this entire design and set just kind of like came from my own mind. Like the cards don't tell you this is exactly what it has to look like. Um, so they still leave a lot up to imagination and it actually took me a few days to decide what design I wanted to do or how I wanted it to look. And I usually end up just honestly freestyling a lot of sets because I don't really have a plan. Some of them I draw out and even the ones that I draw out, I'm like, no, I don't really like the way that's looking now that it's not on paper. So I end up changing them. And I did a few of these nails, even the ombre nails, like two or three times just to get it right. So you guys end up seeing the finished product and what everything looks like, but I do mess up a lot and I do make a lot of changes to, to get to this point, like in my video to where everything looks nice and neat. So yeah. <laughs> um, so for, again, for the thumbnail or for the coffin nail, I wanted them to be a little bit different on the coffin. So, um, and then I just didn't want too much to take away from this butterfly on these ring fingers are just absolutely gorgeous. They're a little heavy, uh, but they're super pretty. And I know whoever gets this set or whoever wants this set, you're absolutely going to love them and just look at them all together. Like, I just was blown away and I was like, there's literally nothing else I could add to this, but this is a Zodiac set. So I did go ahead and pull out the big bling. Thankfully, Pisces is not a long word. So um, these little metal emblems or whatever you want to call them, um, they fit perfectly on the index finger. And so, yeah really ended up loving the way these look. So here you see me just going in and doing some finishing touches. I already glued them down with quite a bit of my McCart rhinestone glue and then I'm just going in with a little bit more just to seal in the edges and the sides so that they don't get caught on things um, or it's because it's a pretty big charm. So yeah, just so it doesn't get stuck on a bunch of hair. It probably will still get stuck in some places if you were actually wearing these, but I just thought it went really well with the design and tied in with a little butterfly. It was just giving a little more, um, even if the set didn't need a little more. But these are Zodiac nails. So you guys, we have to go all out for our friends and their signs. So up next is Aries. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and I had a great time creating these. Thank you so much for being the best part of my channel and I will let the video roll from here and I'll see you in my next one. Tell everyone, say subscribe to the channel. Great channel.